What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and the internet is going wild over uh, essentially some criticism now that uh, Mr. Beast is getting some valid, some invalid, um, you know, in terms of one of his on-screen personalities coming out and saying, uh, you know, leaving his uh, wife and son and uh, deciding to take a bunch of estrogen uh, to look like a, uh, to look more feminine. On the surface of this, it's literally none of anyone's business. The issue is these content creators make it our business by tweeting about it, by endorsing it. There's a huge crowd of people on the internet right now that are pretending that, oh, well, why does anybody care about what this Chris person's doing? It's ridiculous, it's none of your business. Yet they are promoting HRT to very young audiences, uh, referring to it as a life-saving decision that they made. Really, the data does not support this uh, in any meaningful way. And uh, Mr. Beast has the most subscribers on hundreds of millions of young children that follow them. Uh, I think that uh, people are also being disingenuous by resurfacing old tweets from Chris there's a lot to discuss here, um, but ultimately, a lot of people, a lot of parents are concerned. You know, a lot of parents have said that, hey, look, I'm not letting my, my kids watch Mr. Beast anymore. That's their decision. Mr. Beast has stood by his friend, which I 1,000% respect. Um, but people acting like um, this isn't a major issue for the Mr. Beast brand are being completely dense probably on purpose. So on the surface, I think, no, whatever this adult wants to do with his body, their body, uh, should be their decision. And I stand by that. Uh, I think, in my opinion, uh, you're potentially robbing, a lot of people are saying that you're robbing your child of a father figure. I suppose that remains to be seen. Um, that said, the idea that... Uh, you know, this is somebody with a massive following, uh, over a million followers, that is literally promoting taking these, it's never too late to start being yourself, um, or um, HRT, and it's only been two months. Like, um, look how happy I am by taking these, taking es pumping estrogen into my body. Um, and, Maybe it will save Chris's life. Maybe they've always been, um, you know, uh, a feeling like a woman trapped in a man's body, okay? The, the Chris's alt account, which has 270,000 people, um, a lot more serious, um, you know, promoting uh, these type of things saying they're, you know, life save informed consent, HRT saved mine and many other lives. Um, this is not true. Um, I, there's a reason that Chris doesn't let people reply to this. The, the data is spotty at best and you couldn't possibly know that it saved your life. This is the part of the issues. Um, now I don't want to show his kid. That's not, his kid has nothing to do with this. Um, and people talking about his kid, Come on, guys, let's not do that. Um, so that's the issue, is that you are now the poster person for pumping your body full of estrogen and making the claim that it saved your life, which even the best data is spotty on. Uh, this is my concern with it. Um, you have hundreds of millions of impressionable young children who may be uh, feeling lost, and now you've essentially said, hey, just take these estrogen pills and you'll feel great. I don't know if they're pills. I don't know. I don't know how that, but um, now it creates a complex situation where, you know, uh, this person, Chris Tyson, is certainly allowed to do what they want with their own body. And um, merely chronicling it is not exactly him, pu them pushing it on kids. And maybe, you know, ultimately what's going to happen in is in the Mr. Beast videos, if the content is the same as normal, you know, and it's not like, um, 
Oh, you know, if, if this become like many terminally online people, especially in the LGBTQ community, it becomes their entire personality where, oh, uh, uh, I'm, hey, um, I don't have a comment to say about something without also talking about that I'm trans or bi or LGBT, what you, whatever the case is. So if that comes into the content, uh, it's obviously going to uh, have an interesting reaction. Again, the people denying this that has any effect on the brand whatsoever are delusional. The video uh, on his second channel where they live streamed has 157,000 upvotes, which is very, very good. I probably don't have that many upvotes on my entire channel across all my videos, but it has 144,000 downvotes. 144,000 downvotes. And, uh, you know, it doesn't appear to be bots. Um, people saying they're sponsoring Bud Light now. Um, obviously getting tons of support. And look, Mr. Beast, by the way, has done nothing but be a good friend to this guy or person. Okay. So uh, I don't think Mr. Beast deserves any criticism. But to... And one thing that his channel has done, Mr. Beast's channel has done better than any channel probably in history is avoid any kind of culture war nonsense or politically divisive content or major scandals. Sure, they have some old spicy tweets, uh, in particular Chris and they all used to like, you know, you drop the bundle of sticks words or, okay, fine. I, I don't really care about old tweets. Um... And I don't think bringing them forward now are, is worth canceling them. But I, I think the idea that this is not going to have a negative effect on uh, Mr. Beast's business. And you know what? Mr. Beast seems like the kind of guy that will just ride with him anyway. And I respect the heck out of that. And you're talking about three or four uh, young people here who all have more money than all of us combined. XQC says Chris could be a liability for Mr. Beast addressing the controversy in a stream. XQC resp responded to a comment suggesting that Mr. Beast would not care and would not cut him off as they have been friends for so long. And I would hope that's true, honestly. Um, I hope that he would provide guidance to his friend and help him. Um, quote, he definitely does care. And if the hit is too big, he will definitely cut them off. And I wouldn't even be mad about that, XQC said. Why? Because the level of liability, you don't know how much it's going to be until it actually gets there. And saying things like, guys, this is a friend and I can't drop him. Bro, what if this becomes an absolute nightmare? Don't make mistakes that you can't get away from. XUC continued saying, making a comparison that if he had a friend on stream who was creating problems for him by being addicted to drugs, you can bet they're not coming on my stream again because he's threatening everything. Um, now, much of XQC's chat was critical of his take, one arguing that that's his brother, not a business partner. Um, and I, I think that that's true. Um, and again, you know, this is a, this is a, a tough situation um, because there's going to be inherently a lot of backlash. And now, whether Mr. Beast likes it or not, he has to pick a side. And this is just the way things work. I'm not saying that I agree with it. I'm not saying that it's fair. It's just, it's your friend, right? Um, I don't know if making a, the comparison to being like a drug addict is the same thing. Um, it could be, I suppose. Um, uh, but, you know, look, I think most of us have had friends that um, maybe make things difficult on us. This is going to be at the highest level a uh, potential powder keg for um, Mr. Beast. The idea that you would think, now look, if he lost 50% of his viewership tomorrow, which he wouldn't, he's still you know one of the biggest forces in the world. And he does incredible work with philanthropy. And I have, and I will continue to defend the things that Mr. Beast does. Uh, you know, I guess, uh, unless his next video is, you know, um, giving 1,000 people bottom surgeries or something like that. But I mean, the idea that, you know, the idea, you know, you have all these old tweets, by the way, coming up. Um, yeah, I mean, fine. Um, a lot of people are saying, oh, these are just edgy tweets. This was six years ago. I don't put a lot of weight on old tweets. I don't, because it's difficult to know the context of what was going on. 
Um, but there are some very spicy tweets about Islam and about, I mean, these are, you know, look at all the black people who have never had a steak. Um, that's more than $10. I mean, that's from 2018. This isn't from when he was like a child. Um, you know, and there are a lot of other tweets you see, uh, you know, this one from 2017, a lot of edgy, you know, tweets that would definitely get you canceled now. But now he has the ultimate. Now Chris has the ultimate shield. Never be canceled now. Um, you know, a lot of people putting this out. Uh, I don't know. I, I believe that if you're somebody's friend, then you stick with them. And I applaud Mr. Beast for that. But I do think uh, there is absolutely zero chance this doesn't have a negative effect to his channel. And I think people out there gaslighting and saying, oh, everything's going to be fine, blah, 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 blah. Mr. Beast put himself in the middle of everything now when he said, this is getting absurd. Chris isn't my nightmare. He's my effing friend. And that and things are fine. All this transphobia is starting to make me mad. Look, let's also say this too. You know, I think it's fair to, re to, to wait and see it's not like if the guy's going to be in Mr. Beast videos telling people to go, you know, get their estrogen pills, that's a major issue, right? Um, the fact that he built his following via Mr. Beast, the people that follow him are likely 15 years old. Um, he's telling them that, you know, taking these pills saved his life. I don't agree with that. I think that you have a certain level of responsibility as a content creator um, when you're putting that kind of stuff out there, especially when you know your audience is like kids. So it will remain to be seen, you know, hopefully just the videos just keep rolling like normal. Um, but you know, it's stuff like this. It saved my life and the lives of many others. You don't know that. Um, and this is the problem with a lot of these doctors that push this stuff. They're like, Oh, would you like uh, a dead son or a daughter? Or, or, a do or something like that. Like they, they always use this implication. Like, well, if you don't put them on these pills, they're going to end their life. I mean, the data does not really support that. Um, but certainly, I don't think it's fair to be dunking on Mr. Beast and give him... It's his friend. What is he supposed to do? In fact, like if he fired him... First of all, he's in a no-win situation. He's not firing this guy. There's no way... Um, and he's done nothing to be to be fired, to be honest with you. And Mr. Beast is right. If people are just hating on him for this particular thing, you know, for just for being trans, I don't think that that's fair. I think that you look at the totality of the situation, things that are happening. If he continues to promote this stuff to his young audience, I, I have a problem with that. If he abandons his son, that's not a good look either. But people do that every day, and I don't make YouTube videos about them. Uh, and I, I, I believe that, I believe that he believes that, uh, he'll be a good father and he'll stick by his son. And I hope that that's true. Uh, I don't know what kind of upbringing that is, but certainly that kid's going to have all the money in the world to go to all private schools for the rest of their life. And so, I mean, you know, um, it'll be interesting to see how, you know, Mr. Beast Saudi Arabia gets taken or in China or in many of these other countries. Um, people are trying to read into this video and say, Mr. Beast is really unhappy. I don't know. He might've just been tired. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't try to read too much into stuff. Um, it could have just been a low energy stream. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see. Do you think this has long-term effects on the Mr. Beast channel? Or do you think this is just a whatever? And then, you know, there'll be the next face of Bud Light. It'll be interesting. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it and we'll talk to you again real soon.